Hi everyone, I'm going to make an Arjuna page today and I've got acrylic paints here, I've got dark purple, I've got Persian blue, turquoise, magenta and white and basically these are all acrylic paints and local brand and all kinds of uh, things that I've picked from the cheap store. The only uh, other thing that I can tell you is that they are not runny like the deco art. They are uh, more pasty and I'm going to use a palette knife uh, for my background but you don't have to use a palette knife you can use any kind of plastic card uh, to do it now uh, I'm going to just put down smears and of the paint just randomly all over my page like so and I go uh, uh, diagonally here but you can do whatever you want whatever kind of movement is uh, appeals to you and easier for you this is a really uh, easy background to make there are no rules just smearing paint And I'm trying to move quickly and not think about it too much. I want um, a little bit of overlapping uh, when I scrap the paints. So that's why I'm uh, doing it as quickly as I can. I'm trying that the edges will be covered maybe I'll need to add more paint but we'll see right now it's still just scrapping away don't know about you but I love beginning a page with this kind of messy um, paint just smearing away no thinking about it Okay, moving on. Trying to uh, cover the white spaces and continue to scrap away a uh, paint and let it overlap and blend with the others. You can uh, move back and forth between the colors. It doesn't have to be in this order. If you feel that you don't have enough uh, of one color, you just go and add where you want it. As I said, no rules.
I'm uh, putting a uh, less of the magenta I like how it uh, that it adds to my background but I don't want it dominant so moving on And I can already see that I want more of the turquoise, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more white and get back to uh, the turquoise. And I'm letting it uh, mix with the white and the other colors and more blue again this is just do whatever you like until you get the result that you want I feel like I want more blue so I'm going in and adding in several places more of my Persian blue and maybe just a little bit of turquoise here So basically this is it, quite a mess of a background which I really really love and this needs to dry before we continue. I'll be back. I'm back. So background is uh, dry and I want to stealth in stencil on my page and I'm going to use white gesso. I want it uh, to really pop up on this uh, quite dark uh, background and I figured the gesso would be the best to use while acrylic paint I will have to go over and over again until I will have a complete white at least I hope so <laughs> we'll see what happens and I'm using a makeup sponge I'm trying to pick as little as I can and if I feel that it doesn't cover as much as I want I ju I'm just going back and doing another layer on top it's moving I hope I'm going to uh, get something nice and not splotches of <laughs> gesso underneath my stencil. It will. It it's always a struggle between picking up enough paint or gesso or paint, and so you will have nice coverage, but without a uh, without it bleeding underneath the stencil. It is probably <laughs> more uh, in terms of how patient I am.
let's see going over in several places I hope it will turn up nicely if not I will have to go over with some kind of acrylic uh, pen like Posca pen or something uh, similar or a white gel pen also works we'll see okay this is nice and I think I want another one here so just a little bit more let's see if I can yeah okay now you can see it so this is a uh, the stenciling and I want some moon here and I just uh, went ahead and punched a circle from just a cardboard and what I want to do now I'm taking some a brush and I'm going to gesso it but what I'm trying to do is make some texture I'm I want texture for my moon so I'm just tapping this this brush with the gesso on top of the cardboard Okay, so this needs to dry and what I also wanted to do is make some a uh, splatter and I've got this um, silver uh, spray uh, this is not a uh, one of those a uh, translucent sprays this is for a uh, textile but I use it all the time I don't use it for textile I'm using it in my uh, art craft whatever I don't think I ever used it on textile and let's see fan brush and I'm just gonna stick it in and here we go and I think I also add some white because this is not as prominent as I wanted uh, the splatter to be so let's see if I've got just a little bit more of the gesso I'll add water yeah that's what I was aiming for <laughs> okay so this needs to dry the moon needs to dry I'll be back I'm back so I hope this is <laughs> uh, dry enough I want to start working on my moon that is going to go here and I've taken deco art this is a uh, sky blue don't know how this light blue grayish light blue is sky blue but whatever and I'm going to use a sponge to tap a little bit on like so I don't want to complete coverage and now I want a little bit more I don't know a more color that will correspond with the background so I'm taking this or a Stadler a aquarelle pencils so I'm going to put some in several places and activate them 
with water and I'm doing it quite randomly and let's take also the purple which doesn't look much like a purple but will work with it so I'm very lightly putting down the pencils and let's take some brush and water very little bit of water I don't want puddles and I'm activating the pencils and I'm doing it very very gently as I said I don't want something uh, really bright you just need to add a little bit of something to my moon So, and I'm taking a little bit more of the acrylic uh, light blue with water and just adding a little bit here we go so this needs to uh, dry I'm hoping that once it's dry uh, I've got a very subtle texture here from the gesso that I've done before I'm hoping to rub a little bit of um, silver uh, wax on top I hope it will pick the texture because it's really really subtle and <coughs> sorry and I've got a dry throat all of a sudden I don't know why now I've got this word peaceful that I want here so I'm just going to put down a Put it down here or here I don't know I'll go like this just a glue stick nothing to it I just took a black piece of uh, scrapbook paper and wrote the word with um, an acrylic pen go and I know I wanted something else oh okay I remember now I wanted this bird that I have here on the stencil and let's put it here and I'm going to use let's see I'm going to try for what is left of this. Nope. Changing my mind. Maybe here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put my bird here. probably should have used a gesso again so it will be more prominent but I'm gonna leave it be and I'm going to just go over the edges of my bird with a white gel pen this is something from uh, the cheap store and local so again don't have a brand for you As usual it's it doesn't do a very good job just adding to this plant I have here so my bird will have something more <laughs> Uh, to stand on I'm 
yeah so here it is that's my bird and this is still wet but nonetheless I'm going to just glue it down until it's dry and then only the trying to put on the silver rub on so I'm uh, I'm gonna come back when this is dry I'll be back I'm back so I'm going to try now to rub uh, this uh, silver wax on top of my uh, moon and it seems that it does pick the texture and adds a little bit to the whole thing so it was worth it <laughs> and the only thing I want to try now I never uh, tried it before I'm going to take this little brush and pick some of this silver wax don't know if it will work and I want to add it to in several places on my leaves like so very very randomly just as if uh, everything is touched by the moon glow moonlight <laughs> whatever so it seems that it's working I don't know how much you can see uh, but I will uh, bring it close to the camera in a minute I'm not doing all the leaves just several just adding a little bit of silver shine okay so this is it and that's my page I'm bringing it closer and I hope that maybe you can pick up the shimmer of the silver and this is it I hope you've enjoyed it thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next uh, video bye for now